because they just, you know, experienced, you know, a tough time, you know, having to evacuate, leave their home. A small fire in an apartment forced hundreds of people to evacuate from that apartment complex. After living in this makeshift shelter for most of the week, they can start returning home tomorrow. Tonight marks night four. Dozens of those people have spent in a public expo hall in East Knoxville. Reporter Jacinta Rinder spoke with the American Red Cross about their efforts to comfort those evacuees. Nearly 300 people had to evacuate from Summit Towers on Tuesday night after a small fire set off the sprinklers and brought down the elevator system. The building is home to people 62 and older and those with disabilities. Fire trucks and firemen all over the place. For days, many have been staying at the Jacob building in hopes of getting home soon. I don't like being here. I'm paying rent and when things like that happen, it's not good. There were about 87 last night. While they have a roof over their heads, other local organizations have lended helping hands. We provide food, shelter, and emotional support to disaster survivors, including home fires or a multifamily fire in this situation. The American Red Cross in Knoxville is the main source for food and emotional support. Um, those have been Cracker Barrel, Subway, Food City. Uh, those have been lunch and dinner. Sharon Hudson, their executive director, says everyone receives three meals a day. Then, of course, we have snacks throughout the day. On Saturday, they finally get to go back home. A bus will begin picking people up in phases starting at 845 in the morning, and the shuttle will continue until everyone is back. Hudson says while situations like this are never ideal, a lot of people help to make sure those without a home we're safe. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Render.